Hello there, welcome back to the Dirty Slop Sink. I'm here to show you today how I clean my resins and plastics before I start prepping and painting and all that stuff. You want to get all the factory goo off of it, um, any sort of resin release so things adhere properly and cure properly. Um, so this guy's already been washed at least once as soon as I got him because before I even put any epoxy and stuff on, he gets washed. And now after I've gone and I prepped them and put all this epoxy on and sanded and stuff, he's, you know, still got like some, you know, my finger oils on him and just dust from the sanding and stuff. So we want to get him nice and clean um, to, trying to get the light nice, nice and clean to uh, have a nice surface to work off of so the paint adheres and there's no reaction or anything. Um, so what I like to do is I first take some dish soap. I'm not sure why this is so liquidy. I must have put water in it, but dish soap. Um, I like to use um, like the free and clear type dish soaps that don't have like colors and perfumes or whatever in it. Just the um, basic ones. This is another one that I use here. Natural dish liquid. I like to use dish liquid because it, it cut, gr cuts grease, um, which is a lot of what you have to take off of these guys like finger oils and resin release and stuff like that. So I rub that around, get a nice little soapiness going. And then what I do, leave it soapy, um, I take some baking soda. Um, a lot of people use like Ajax and, and things like that, like chemicals like that, but you don't have to use chemicals, I'd rather not. So uh, the baking soda acts as like an exfoliant as well as like a very mild exfoliant, um, as well as um, it absorbs any sorts of oils and... Uh, soaps and all that stuff. So it'll get in the crevices and it'll uh, absorb any extra oils that you missed. Um, you may also want to take um, this, this off. You may also want to take a toothbrush, an old toothbrush, and get in those crevices really good. Um, this guy doesn't need this degree because he's already had this done when I first got him. Um, so you know you get in those crevices like that. Um, so then what we do, we rinse that off. Make sure you rinse it off your hands as well. And now what I like to do once he's all rinsed off with the baking soda and the soap is rinsed off, I like to take just baking soda now after we rinsed him. So there's no more soap on him. He's rinsed. Um, and I like to just do another pass of the baking soda. This will get any, if I missed any soap or if I missed some part, it'll help get that area. So it's, it's like a little uh, extra... Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but in a little extra thing there to uh, get anything that I might have missed off. And then we rinse. And there you have it, and then you just let them air dry. Um, so you can repeat this process as many times as you want if you, you know, if you got a really dirty model or something like that. Um, or if you just want to do that for extra measure, sometimes I'll do another thing of baking soda and rinse again. But, um, yeah, it's up to you. But um, that's all it takes. You know, no chemicals, really. And uh, a nice, good, clean model ready for a primer now. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Hopefully with a cleaner sink. This could really use a cleaner. Okay.